What's up, guys? Sloppy Web Below here. Well, guys, I just changed out my uh, 1080 card. I had a Founders Edition uh, EVGA card, and I got rid of that one. I went to the one that I originally wanted. This is the EVGA GTX 1080 for the Win Edition DT card. Now, if you see, it doesn't say FTW on the front because this one, for some reason, doesn't say it. I think the only difference between this one and the other for the win edition is the other one has a 10 cf fan i think it's a little bit bigger fan it's it's more clocked up than this which is not a big deal it's the same internals otherwise with the fan and this one um is 1607 with a 1733 boost clock but anyway let's show you the card okay this is what it looks like this is the only place that it shows acx 3.0 this is, like I said, this is the for win the uh, for the win edition. It just doesn't show it, just the way it is. And I want to show you the side as well. This comes with double BIOS. It's pretty cool. So you could uh, clock the shit out of it, and if you screw it up, you're not gonna kill the card. But anyway, let's get this thing open and show you what's inside. All right, guys. Here is what the box looks like. I have to tell you, this had to be the hottest box to get out of the box I've ever had in my life. It was insane. So, my god, it was tight. I couldn't even open the damn thing. Let's see here. It should just expand open. And it does. This is a tough open, man. I'm telling you. Alright. So, when you open this bad boy, you have probably all the brochures. I had a feeling. As you see, EVGA folder. And let's see what you get inside. Probably what we always get. You get a manual tell your user's guide. You get your disc with your pin. Guys, always go to um, NVIDIA's website and download the drivers from there. This tells you about SLI and the bridges that you could use. And you got your enthusiast stickers. And also, Tells you about the GeForce GTX series. It shows you how to, again, install it. And also how to connect it. Okay, this card has two 8-pin connectors. And it also has a light. You can light it up. Red, green, blue. Whatever you're feeling at the moment of life. Let's see. Here is the card itself, which I will open up for you guys. And let's see what they provide. Here is inside the box. Nice box, I have to be honest. Not like the cheesy Founders Edition box, it was very flimsy. You get one 8-pin power connector, and you get another 8-pin power connector. That's all that is provided. Let me get this card opened. All right, guys, that's what it looks like. Here is the card in a nutshell. All these areas here around the outside light up. Here is the side of it. Back plate's nice, man. You guys can see that really well. All right. Here's your fans and stuff. And here is all your hookups. How are you going to hook it up? And as you see, let me turn it over, two 8-pin power connectors. This has 10, 10 power phase powering. But anyway, that is the bad boy in a nutshell. Let me get this in the case and we'll check this out. Show you the card in the case. That is the card in the case. Looks really cool. Got a white hue to it. If you can see the front, too, has the EVGA on it. Really cool looking. You can control the colors with many different colors. I am not using Precision X, that's what you have to use to do it. So with that said, I'm not going to be able to do it, no big deal. Lights up, looks cool right now, it's got a bluish white hue. Just want to show it to you in the system. Let's get some gameplay up with the For The Win Edition.